the box of the Aston Martin. As you can see, this is the first time Tomica has released an Aston Martin. I think it's probably because they just got the license from Aston Martin and has the 50th anniversary sticker and it says new 2020. The main highlight of the car is the headlights. As you can see, the headlights have been really, really good reproduced into this as you can see the headlights are literally matching it which i am giving a round of applause for tomika as you can see this is tomika's um one of tomika's attempts and nowadays they didn't even have the opening features and guess what they brought back the opening features which is actually really good as you can see from the S uh, the um, lamborghini svj it doesn't have any opening features, not even like opening back, nothing that good. But it still has the stunning details. So I think Tomika has done really, really good on the headlights. And I love this paint. This paint, as you can see, is really, really, really shiny. Wow, I, I just can't believe it. And it has um, rear light details. As you can see, I put a license plate thing. Well, it has no numbers yet. And it has the exhaust details. You know, I think it should have been uh, painted like, you know, like painted the color of the exhaust, like like this color of gray. Um, but it's still just a minor one. You can use a paint marker to touch that up. And uh, as you can see, the rear light detail, it, it looks decent. I don't think it has paint on it, but look at the molding on it. Wow, the molding on it is really, really good. As you can see, they have re reproduced the dots on it. And there's a gold stripe and says Z there as a Z for Zagato. And guess what? Yep, they brought back the opening features. Unlike this car, um, what a disappointment. They didn't have rear light details, front light details, no opening dots like it was such a disappointment but Tomika has finally redeemed itself by bringing back the opening features uh if you didn't know they actually stopped the opening features until and then they brought it back for like the premium line which was really great so yeah that's this car it's opening features and quirks and features as doug will say and here's the grill Wow, I think like this is the best Tomica that Tomica has probably done because of the details and wow, just wow. I don't think this car should be worth the price it is. Uh, if Tomica would actually would have released this like last or like last last year. It would have been a premium car for this amount of details. So I think Tomika is bringing back their game. And I'm hearing a lot of news of Tomika bringing back a lot of cars that is going to be super. And leave in the comments if I should get those Tomikas, especially the Supra from the Fast and Furious. And I think I should just give a moment of silence to Tomika for giving us all of these bad cars and bringing us back with these beautiful cars. So let's just let it lay down and admire the beauty.